Good morning, children. Myself Shuja Karanakar. I will teach you EDS. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe. Children, first you get ready your book EDS page number one hundred eighty-four and keep ready your copy also. Whenever you are watching your mobile online classes, you must use your earphone. Okay? Then only you can listen clearly to your teacher. Okay, children. As you all know, nowadays our Indian people or the people of the world also suffering from a coronavirus. Coronavirus, which is very dangerous disease. But we can prevent more from that disease. So doctors are advised that we have to wash our hands time to time. With the soap, sanitizer, etc., and, and we have to use the mask. We have to use the mask always whenever we go outside from home. Okay. So these are the cleanliness part. If we maintain clean of our body part, then it will be good for our health. So children, first of all, we have to know. Uh, our chapter internal organs. So before that, we have to know what is organs. See here, I have written here introduction. Introduction is what already I told. One thing, one story I will tell you. Vinita, who is a girl, and she is reading in class four. One day, her grandfather suffered a heart attack. Suffered a heart attack. So her mother and father rushed him to the hospital. Doctor decided to perform a emergency surgery on him. So all are very worried. Okay. So Vinita next day came to school and she explained and she uh, asked to her uh, teacher. Is heart is the most important part of our human being of our body. Teacher explained her that the function of all the parts of our body. So children, you also have to know that all the parts of our body working together, working together like writing, reading, okay, sleeping. Jumping, walking, okay, anything, playing, anything, action, if you are doing, then who is doing that? Our body parts. So these body parts are the distinct parts of our body. These are called organs. These are called organs. So main part is the organs. Okay, our body parts working together. Okay, our all the body parts working together. These are the distinct parts of our the body. These are called organs. Okay, so now we will come to next point: objectives. In this lesson, first we will see objectives. Objective means uh, first of all we have to know that uh, organs. Organs means. Many organs we have. We are uh, we know that uh, eyes, teeth, uh, cheek, neck, ears, nose, head, head, neck, stomach, chest. Okay, many things are there. Our leg, toes, everything is our body parts. But have you ever seen that some body parts you can see clearly, some are not? Why? That is only our lesson. Today we are going to know about this body parts. So, children, what we can see, what we can see in our body, what we can use to do some work, these are called organs, already I told. But these organs divided into two parts. These organs divided into two parts. 
What is the function? We know hands. We are writing with hands. Okay. And something we are throwing. We are playing also with hands. But do you know what is the function of heart? What is the function of stomach? What is the function of liver? What is the function of kidney and heart, lungs, brain? Okay. So, children, next class we will read and we will know more about the function of this internal organs. So, children, today is enough. Read carefully. How much I told you? Read properly. Read carefully. Open your book. What is called organs? Okay. And what is the difference between two organs? What is the difference between two organs? Which can see externally and which cannot be seen externally but it can work internally. So that is only difference. So difference and internal organs and external organs. Name. What are the internal organs and what are the external organs? That much only you find out and write in your copy. This side external organ and this side internal organ. So your homework is write two types of organs and name them. 